Leo, what it be, yo? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you around February 2021, baby. We show sure here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you so much for coming through and showing some love. So, I want to give um, a big, big thanks to everyone who has been sending love and support to me throughout 2020, just period, because you guys have been just a very, very, just like warm love and support for me and my family. I'm very, very gracious for all of your love. If there's anybody that um, would like to book a personal or private reading, or if you want to continue to support their page, just go ahead and click the description box of this video or check out the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list, the best way to reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns, or just, you know, again, just want to send some love over to me. Um, just... Send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, email me at scorpionrays at gmail.com, okay? So listen, Leo, you already know how we want to do, baby. You know how we uh, always got to give praise and thanks and acknowledgement to the Creator, to the Father God, to the universe, whatever it is you want to call them. We got to give them love. We got to give them love. We got to give them love, baby. So bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. Father God, you know we're coming here long and strong, Father. We got a lot of a lot of things cooking up for 2021. We want to have some fun. We want to show up. We want to show out, Father God. I want you to wrap us up in all your love, Father God. We want to keep our heads high with dignity and with pride. And we're going to walk through with praise, Father God. And we're just going to make sure that we're just, you know, putting forth all of the effort to build our foundation that is going to last us long, that is going to create our legacy, that we're going to be known for, that is going to, you know, be talked about into history. We're really, really, really trying to set firm foundations for generational wealth where we could teach our kids and they could just pass on and pass on and pass on and pass on and pass on, Father God. So thank you so much for teaching us about not just, you know, Getting up every day about a day to day to day to day to day. It's about creating a legacy on your name, Father God. So we thank you so much for you putting the blessing and the anointment on Leo to just be doing what we're doing, Father God. And we thank you so much for just like helping us continue to press forward and believing in ourselves. So Father God, give us the guidance that we need today. Thank you so much for all of the love that you've given us today and every day in Jesus name. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's get into it, Leo. Let's see what we got, baby. Let's see what we got, honey. So. Feelings. All right. Ooh, we got feelings. Ooh. <laughs> we got feelings, Leo. We got feelings what is this baby it says emotions want to be felt okay okay now now listen emotions want to be felt don't be trying to hold back them feelings because you don't call it feelings honey oh <laughs> am i telling your business <laughs> so listen emotions want to be felt you really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it Ooh. <laughs> it says allow me dear divine to offer all emotion to you Feeling them fully so they are no longer holding me captive. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> the feelings, the feelings that we feel. Sorry. <laughs> you guys. Y'all guys, let's, ooh, little rosebuds, little flowers budding. Something budding all in. Ooh, I do got me some little flowers on today in the name of Jesus. Hello, sha la la. Bring it in. Hold on. What are we feeling here? Mm. Something's budding. Some jewels is dropping. Okay, let's find out what's going on with Leo. What y'all got on today? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's 
see what type of feelings you got on the day. And we got, oh, you got the Eight of Material. The Eight of Material. Mmm, Leo. You are definitely sitting back feeling. It's like something's a little sketchy here. It's like. Mmm, the Eight of Material. When I look at the Eight of Material, I look at that as. Um, it's like somebody's worthiness or like the look of things if things are going to work um, the amount of time spent it to something versus what they get out of it uh, if it's going to make someone look foolish that's like someone doing a job where they make a business look good, but they're doing it for free. So it's like, it'd be one thing if I'm going to work on an internship, but I'm getting some credit somewhere for the ideas and the, you know, it's being labeled somewhere as an internship. It's a totally different thing if I'm doing all of this work, getting no pay, no recognition. So it didn't help me at all. It only helped the person that I was providing the service to and that will only make me look dumb as if I don't know how to like look over contracts and you know what I'm saying so it's like and you see how this person's arms is all over like an octopus like all, uh, uh, all over the place so it's like someone having to give more than what they're receiving so it's like I might have to put out on all of these different ends but I may not have no job to give y'all anything from do you understand because like the eight of materials could mean like um a lack of resources like someone not having employment or a lack of skill set or something um again it's like I'm feeling like someone being yo-yoed um I'm feeling like someone is being yo-yoed around and I don't, I feel like this is a very much so person that is capable because you wouldn't be able to be yo-yoed around if you didn't have any skills. So this is someone that can be, it's like I'm feeling like someone is feeling like they're being taken advantage of because of their situation. So you could even be trying to work on something, get some work, work something out, um, and I'm seeing like this girl's arm, like there's a lot of tattoos on this arm and this arm is clean right here. So you could come from like a background where, I don't know, it could be like some level of street life or something like you try, you have to hide your tattoos or something. Do y'all, y'all see what this, y'all see what I'm saying? You see this arm is tatted, this arm is clean. So it's like there could be some feelings around having to hide your identity, your past identity, like how having to hide your tattoos or something, some type of employment. That could be something that's been causing some drama with employment. You got the muse of emotions. So this is someone like having a kind of calm effect, a calm of approach, not being moved emotionally. Um, I want to say different standard, like enjoying the fruits of their labor. It's like, what's the point of working without being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor and to be a master at your own suit? So I'm not prepared to have to do that. Like if... If I'm going to do the work, I want to be recognized for the, you know what I'm saying? I want to be recognized for the opportunities that I'm being, that I'm gracing you guys with. It's like you guys wouldn't be able to do something. It's like without me, without my ideas. So it's like you guys may have some type of feelings around something that has something to do with 
work. It definitely has something to do with money and you guys not receiving no fucking money. Like this is like not getting your pay advance that you were promised or because this is someone doing some type of work. Some type of skills. It's like I hit my tattoos. I, you know, I let y'all yo-yo me around. I did what you guys wanted me to do. And so where's my money? <laughs> Where is my money, though? Where is my money? So, again, I don't feel that it's that you guys are trying to take a passive approach about this situation. It's like God is trying to tell you to acknowledge your feelings about it, but we got to be able to address it in a more dip. Then you got the hang. Okay, then you got the hangman. So, okay. It's like God wanted you to see that it's like you're being used, you're being manipulated. Like, it's like something doesn't look right. It's like you're doing all of this work, and, but where's the money? Where's the resources? Where's, you know what I'm saying? Your foundation. Where is it? You know, like, you had to be put away to yourself so that you could sit back from the outside looking in. As to, I don't know if it was something that happened. It's something that happened. I don't know if you got laid off. Um, it would, yeah. I'm like, get, I'm like, it's like a layoff. Cause it's like um, unemployment. It's like either unemployment or you not receiving the pay advancements or whatever you were supposed to receive for your job, but you did the work. And it's, the hangman is like, being put outside of the situation so that you can really sit back and see it for what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like there was no way that you were going to see that you were being used or manipulated or that you were not um, gaining the correct amount of skills or whatever it was from the situation. It was like you wasn't gaining shit from it. You know? So it's like regardless of your feelings or whatever it is about it, honor your true emotions and realize and recognize that it was bullshit. But don't take it so hard on yourself because even if you are unemployed right now or whatever the situation is, it was for you to see that you weren't really receiving anything from that job anyway. So it's giving you a chance to honor yourself where you could bear fruits where you really want it to come from go and find your true passion because it's like it was something about this shit it wasn't working for you anyway it was like you were being yo-yoed around or underpaid undervalued it was like you were looking it's like getting up going to a job every fucking day where you bust your ass and you're barely making enough to pay your bills and it's like wondering why you stayed. So it's like you could be upset that you got laid off or that you're un unemployed right now. But thank God. I mean, because it gives you a chance to really get your emotions together and master your true self. Go after what you like. You're a visionary. Go after what you really, really want to do. The king of water is like. Someone that has a lot of talent, a lot of skills, like a lot of talent, a lot of skills. It's like you can sing, you can craft. Um, it's like you could be in a high fashion. Um, you can anything with music, arts, writing, um, even some type of philanthropic uh, efforts or something like that. Like you could just be known for giving back to the community because like this is about wellness emotional wellness like why why are they saying a little peewee coach what the fuck is a little peewee coach but it's like um someone that is like i don't know why i'm saying like um a neighborhood why are they saying a neighborhood ambassador it's like someone that kind of um takes like the youth like a youth ambassador it's someone that takes like the youth in the neighborhood and coaches them 
and like life stuff like help the young boys that don't have no fathers find like a mentor or something like that it's something like that that's what i'm saying like philanthropy in some type of way but it's something that you enjoy doing you would do it for free you know you just want to see people get better you don't want to see kids out here without no father without no male role model you don't it's like you don't want to see you don't want to see any women out here without you know what i'm saying you don't want to see anything like that so You got Ricky Martin. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, Ricky. It says sex is like exercise. Practice and discipline are essential. Ooh. The crowd can go wild. But love is something only your secret heart can know. Keep your friend like bathing suits. Type. So, this is someone, again, that has close commitment to their friends. I want to say has a very healthy sex drive. Um, may have a very, very attractive body. It just is like, I want to say, like, in regards to you being a suitor amongst other people, it's like you could be the most highly valued suitor in your neighborhood. I want to say like a lot of popularity or something like that. Like a lot of people like you. You have a tight group of friends. Um, you, Let's see what we got going on. We got healthy choices, the runner, and then the clock. So we got the healthy choices that came out in the reverse. We got the runner in the reverse. And then we got the clock. So what that is basically telling me is that, again, like it was saying, sex is like exercise, practice, and discipline are essential. So... This is someone that can have like multiple sex partners right now. The crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. So, you guys may have found someone. Like, out of all of the suitors, out of all of the sexual, multiple sexual partners and things that you have had, or maybe still have. There is someone that secretly that you know deep inside that you have feelings for. Um, I don't feel like you've been making healthy uh, choices in your sexual ex escapades. Because like, it's like you've been doing this for a while. Whoever this is could have been a bachelor or could have just been single. And just, you know, just running around doing whatever they want to. So it's like... It's not like they're like self-sabotaging anything because they could have ran if they wanted to. Like they didn't have anybody that was holding them down to a commitment. You know what I'm saying? Nobody that made them want to stop running around. So you weren't really looking for nothing. But it's like the clock is ticking here. So it's like I don't know if it's that you're thinking that you're finally you're getting older. You're tired of running around. Um... It's like you, they're saying essential worker. Ooh, an essential worker. An essential worker. Are you dating an essential worker or something like that? I don't know if you're an essential worker. Are you like in a medical career or something like that? I can see that somebody being in like the medical field or something. I could definitely see that, especially with the aid of materials. To me, like... The aid of materials is somebody that has a like that does like some type of construction, um, some type of uh, 
in the finance industry. I do look at materials as medicine because um, pinnacles can represent, because in the five of pinnacles, it can represent sickness and things like that. So this could definitely be someone that's in like the medical field. Very attractive, like very attractive, but doesn't make healthy choices in their sex life and their love relationships and shit like that because they had had this ego. They they just been running around, but it's like time is running out for all of that shit. Like it's like you're getting too old. Oh shit! Then you got the hierophant that fell. <laughs> you got the hierophant that fell. So. You guys could be like changing your thoughts on something because with that clock right there and with this unhealthy choices and running around and things like that in this Ricky Martin card, you definitely have a very healthy um, sexual appetite and everything. Very popular. A lot of people want you and no one has been able to get you to settle down. This one person though. This one person, I don't know if it could be a friend though. Could it be a secret? Like a secret. It's like ever you guys are like finally coming to God and just like, listen, I'm tired of all this running around. I'm ready to make a commitment. I'm ready to commit myself. I want a relationship. It's like I want to... It's like, I want to finally come out and tell this person that I'm interested in them. Or I want to find someone that I could come out and truly express my feelings. I don't know if this is someone that emotionally is just not like out forward with people. The, the judgment. So again, it's like the hierophant and judgment. It's like I'm being called to confess my sins, confess my wants, to confess my beliefs, to confess why I've been running around like this. What do I really want? Like the lifestyle that I'm truly trying to commit myself to. And it's like I want what's best for me right now. I've kind of had my time. Look, I've had my time of running around. I did. But now I want something different. It's like I'm ready to catch feelings or I'm finally catching feelings. Um, but again, like, I want to say confessing. There's some level of confessing. And... There's some level of confessing about these unhealthy choices and like being very honest about it. Very honest about it. Yeah, I was a runner. Yeah, I did date people that were like the princess of pentacles. So this is like an offer being given. This is like an acceptance letter, um, a donation, um... Yeah, it's like a, it's like an offering. But I feel like it's being offered to somebody, though. It's like, okay, um, I accept your invitation to join this group. Because remember, this is like the higher fan or something. So... I don't know if it's like they're waiving your tuition fee. Um, it has something to do with money. But it's like being given. Like in a gracious way. You know because it's like you came with honor. You came with respect. You told the truth. You showed up. You were on time. You know so. It's like you. It's, I want to say in some way someone felt like they were a failure because of the shit in the lifestyle that they were doing. But it's like you were honest about it. 
you were honest about why you've been doing what you've been doing and you've been coming with an honest heart it's like now is the time like when you were doing what you were doing all of this running around it was your time to do that you know what i'm saying now is your time to commit yourself and to do something different so we accepting you don't be hard on yourself listen none of us are freaking jesus none of us are perfect and it's like god doesn't want you to be perfect he just wants change here what is this this is the nine of chalices in the reverse so what this is telling me right here is okay so what they're saying here is i feel like this is someone that has spent a lot of time by their self um with this ladybug here, this ladybug is like about, um, cause, um, I forget what is it. I think when I see ladybugs in my yard, like that's very good though. Ladybugs are very, very good for your yard. People actually buy ladybugs to like help your yard. Like it does some type of, I don't know if it, I don't know what it does, but you got the, Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. So, I don't know if you guys, like, lost a family or something like that. And it's why you guys have been kind of, like, roaming around a little bit. Because you got the Nine of Cups, the Three of Cups, and then you got the Ten of Swords. So what that is basically telling me is that ever since, ever since it's like something happened with some type of family thing. I don't know if it was like there was a child born and I don't know if like there was a death or, um, you're not allowed in, into someone's life. It's like, I don't, I feel like it's a child's life or something like that. I don't know if it was like um, a child passed away very young and you just are, were kind of like not open to getting that close to someone where it's like you were prepared to start a family or um, it's like, when this person's birthday comes, it's like you get really sad. It's like in some ways, like you gotta, you still mourn or pay your respects or it still triggers you in some type of way. So it's like, I want to say it was hard for you to kind of get over the death of, I don't know if it, if I don't know if it was a parent or a child or somebody somebody i want to say if it was a child it was the child was very very young and i want to say that this could have been like your only child especially if this is like a male leo or something and it's like that's why this person like remained a bachelor because this person had a family and could have lost a family very very young like so it's like that's why they don't allow people to get attached to them in a certain type of way and they just run around or they were running around it's like they didn't really want a level of commitment they did just hang around with their boys and you know like <laughs> the bachelor like that's kind of what i'm getting but i want to say this person blocked their heart from receiving love on a high level like that because they were so scared of having a loss like this again that they just decided to do things the way that they wanted to do it you know what i'm saying they might have broken a lot of hearts and might have did a whole lot of fucked up shit to a lot of people that really wanted to be in relationships with them and i felt like that's what they were confessing to like god it's like this broke my heart you know what i'm saying like this broke my heart it broke my soul it's something that i still more on like every time the birthday comes, I still think about it and it's still something I need to work on and release. And it's like I'm coming to you and I'm asking you for a favor. It's like try to teach me and show me a new way because 
I am open to these feelings. Um, and I want, and it's, and again, it's like I want to learn how to control my feelings. I want to learn how to master it. I want to learn how to take that experience and turn it into something positive. You know, I don't know if it was. Um, it, I don't know if it was something where it showed Leo, well, what are you getting out of it? You know what I'm saying? All this energy that you're spending, what are you getting out of it? Nothing. How is it making you look? What is your reputation? So it was like someone, like if it was, um, if this over here, if you relate this over here to love, it could be like someone having a bad reputation. You know what I'm saying? Like, Putting out on all ends, you know, but people not really receiving something. Like, trying to cover up your tattoos, trying to cover up that you're a bad boy. Like, you know, it may seem like something that's going to work, but it'll never work for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, there could be a lot of people that you left hanging. Do you understand why all the while just, like, hiding your feelings and your emotions? Because you might not have had any. Like, you know, so... It's like a kind of a playboyish type of thing. So I definitely feel there's someone that is offering their self to change because the page of Pentacles is like I said, someone is trying to have a go to school, trying to learn something that is trying to apply for a job and that got accepted. Um, some type of tuition gets accepted. Um, some type of offering, some type of giving. Um, you could be buying something that's small but can help you make big advances. Like this could be like you buying a new car. You know, like it may be a small used car, but it's still something to kind of get you going to make sure that you get, you know. So it's like, because again, you see her running towards something. She's being called to do something. She's being called to go somewhere. She's being called to start the show so right now it may be time to start the show you have definitely been accepted you're learning something a new skill a new trait you're being called to show what you got again with this clock so it's like if you are ready to move it's time for you to make movement because you're being accepted now I don't know why I'm getting like it may be time for you to move. Because it's like stop. It's like you're not running anymore. It's time for you to stay put. But at the same time. I want to say you're moving in the same atmosphere. So I want to say like you could be. Moving. In a different apartment but in the same neighborhood somewhere somewhere that will give you a lot more stability where you will have more free space to study and like more natural light or something like that it's something something with more comfort you guys could be getting like a new apartment or something like a getting acceptance like you got accepted for an apartment like your credit score was approved for something so it's like you don't have to bounce around anymore. You're, you know, it's like you staying put this time. And again, for some type of education, it's like you're learning something. You are an apprentice. You're someone's. Hmm. So, to switch this back over to finance and career. If you were hung up in a situation and it's like, God, I've been feeling some type of way about this because either they laid me off or I'm not getting what I should be getting out of the situation. And I've been trying to control my emotions because I need to be very diplomatic and graceful about the way that I do what I'm about to do. Because I need to make my next decision my best decision. I haven't been making healthy choices because I might have been sticking around for something a little bit too long. You know? So, and I'm not going to be running. It's just time for me to... I feel like you needed to assert yourself and address something. 
So this is the situation in regards to work. I definitely feel like you could have applied for a new job and you could have got accepted into like a new organization. And it's like if they called you, it's like I'm coming. It's like you're going to arrive there on time. So it's like I don't have to. I don't know if it's like you are getting a different job but in the same building. It's like I ain't got to go nowhere. I'm going to stay right here. I'm just moving into a different organization but in the same building. It's like they're calling me to show up. It's like why stay at this job when I can apply myself and get something better. And it's like, that's what I'm going to do. It's like not running from the situation, like sitting there and facing it and making your next move your best move. Because you see as she's running, you see there's flowers beneath her feet. So it's like she's running towards her calling. Hmm. Anyway. I'm going to get it out of here, Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you click that button. Hit that thumbs up. I'm out of here. Peace.